Okay, let's go over towards that fuel tank. We're getting there. Okay, so yes, turn the handle. And you see that fuel? That is good. So yeah, lots of fuel on the pavement. And there's a loading screen. And these loading screens take forever. And ever and ever and ever. Ah. Okay, come on. Okay, so just go over here and use that lighter. Slope along the canal. And yeah. We threw the lighter and it lights on fire and the zombies are burning and that makes me happy because they're dying. And now loading again. <sighs> These loading screens are killing me. Okay, that wasn't that long, so that was okay. So you want to jump down here and then swim towards that hole over there. Yeah. Because if you take too long and don't jump into the water, then... Yeah, that will explode and it will kill you and you will fail this scenario then. So yeah, that's what happens if you don't jump into the water. So I suggest jumping into the water if you want to advance in the scenario and finish it successfully. So yeah, let's climb into this thing. Tunnel. Uh, tunnel. Okay. Alright, and let's go this way. And, um, climb down. And this way. Okay? Yeah, I'm fine. Let's go up this ladder what the? thingy. Hi. In front of the Apple Inn. Yeah, the Hellfire uh, scenario, I believe, takes place in the Apple Inn. It's an, it's an interesting scenario. It's really confusing, though. Just to warn you guys. Yeah, I think it's scenario four in this game. Alright, so... Gotta go this way, and, uh... I believe there's, like, a newspaper somewhere here. Yeah. So, pause it and read it if you want to read it, because I'm not going to read it for you guys. It's too long. And I want to get a good time on this scenario, and the longer you take, the worse your score will be. Who would have thunk that, right? Okay, so talk to this dude. In front of Apple Inn. This is the Raccoon City Police Department. Please try to stay calm. Vehicles are standing by to commence evacuation. We need everyone here as quickly as possible. Five minutes later, in front of the Apple Inn. Yeah. That's it then? Get in, please. We are the only three survivors. I don't believe that. The highway is too dangerous. We're taking side streets. Damn. Another barricade. As you can see, there are too many roadblocks. I'm afraid you'll have to get out and continue on foot. Bitch, I swear to god you could just plow right through those stupid barricades. Those barricades are tiny and you're driving a huge truck. I don't see what the problem is here. But yeah. Ugh, it's expected, of 
course we're gonna have to go on foot. Give me that damn nail gun. You could have that and this too. Take it! Okay. And no, I don't want the 45 rounds. Okay. I want the damn shot. No, I don't want to fucking save. Okay. I want the shotgun. And I want the shotgun shells. And I want more shotgun shells. Okay. And let's equip this. And let's be on our merry fucking way. Okay. Over here. And there is a magnum revolver in that truck. And there is another magnum revolver, which I will not pick up because I never use it. Footbridge. So yeah, this scenario's almost over, guys. I would say it's the easiest out of all of them. There's gonna be a cutscene right now. You didn't know that already? Eric, what's taking so long? Hurry up! I'm trying! I'm almost done! Uh, hurry! Hurry! This way! Okay, it's done! Eric! <laughs> what should I do? I think you should help your fucking friends, you douche. Seriously. He's like, what should I do? Does he expect his friends to answer him? I mean, they're being, like, ass-raped by zombies right now. Excuse me. <sighs> okay. Oh so let's God. keep moving down these stairs. Is there nothing useful? And let's keep going to the main street. And that's where all the zombies are. So I guess you could call this the boss fight of the scenario, even though it's not really a boss fight. But yeah, Main Street. Okay. Now, if you talk to this cop, he'll give you a handgun, but I really don't need a handgun because I've got the shotgun, so... Whatever. Alright. Alright, stay away from me, zombie bitch. Get away from me, whores. Yeah, some of these zombies are pretty fast. Alright, um, pick up this, the detonator handle. And there's another piece we need for this uh, detonating or detonation device, whatever you want to call it. Detonator. Huh, I'm dumb. Okay, yeah, detonator main unit. You want to combine that. And um, let's shoot some more zombies. And uh, yeah, we're going to want to go to this body over here, one of the cops, and use that damn detonator. So, Main Street cutscene. We actually use the damn thing, and... The zombies go BOOM! That's pretty epic. I like that. Bitches die. Well, that's that's fun. Yeah, so we're basically done. We made it. Yes, we did.
As a newspaper reporter, I had been involved with bizarre cases before. But this time, I had to learn the hard way that my past experiences were useless. When a horror movie becomes reality, a person's sanity can disappear instantly. I was moving on pure survival instinct. Yesterday, just before dawn, the Pentagon announced that radioactive waste has been leaked throughout Raccoon City. In accordance with U.S. safety regulations, the city has been placed under quarantine and the Army has been sent in to investigate and control the situation. So yeah, to be continued, and that concludes the outbreak scenario. Okay, let's see how I did. Ooh, I got a rank A. Pretty good. Oh, 38% completion rate. That's not that good, but whatever. I don't really care about the completion rate. I just care about getting through the damn level.